All right, boys and girls, Portuguese are here. So I made a, a, a video a few days ago about how to dig holes for fence posts with a, uh, a manual auger or auger. I still don't know which is the correct way to pronounce it. <laughs> um, and a few of you questioned um, my idea of just uh, filling the hole in with sand and adding water, saying it wouldn't be strong enough. And I can show you we've done this many times and it is strong enough, but it's only because we've got this fine, dense sand, okay, um, that we can get away with that. But obviously you can see this is not gonna move with uh, even with a fence strength against it. And we've done this throughout our whole land, but obviously there are spots where you don't have that kind of fine, dense sand. So over here, um, the sand is a little bit softer. So you have options, um, you know, you could use concrete, you could fill it up with uh, small rocks or whatever, but, um, what we usually do, so here we go, I've put the fence post in, and you can see it has that clay on either side, okay, then that's what we don't want. Uh, so, what can we do? Well, something we like to do, we have these very old concrete posts uh, that probably used to be border posts many years ago laying around our land. So I've just broken them up with the sledgehammer into sort of wedge shapes like this. And uh, all I do is I just drop them down the sides of the hole like that. Now, these would be easy enough to make um, from concrete, or you can just try and find some flat, long rocks. Um, <laughs> most people who've got any land will tell you that it's not difficult to find rocks on their land. Nobody wants them, but uh, we can put them to good use. As I say, when you when you're fencing like this. You're not after perfection, okay? But obviously it's better if we can get them, we can get them level. Now I already know that this fence post is at the right depth. Uh, for some reason I'm out here digging fence post holes. It's 34 degree heat. This is gonna be the last one I do today. Well, I might do one more one because it's straight over there. We'll see, there we go. So once I've got these wedges in, get the old sledgehammer and Knock them down to ground length like that. Okay, and uh, that's not going to move anywhere. And you just do the same job. Just fill the holes with sand like that. Fill the hole back up. You know, another good thing to do is compact that sand down a little bit with your, with your sledgehammer while you've got it there. Okay. Tamp it down with sand again. That's as much as it can move, so that that can handle a fence under strain, no problem. All right. So to give you an example on this, this particular hole, again, the soil is a lot looser, so there's a little bit of backward and forward movement. So what I've done on this one is I've wedged the back and the front. I just check the level. Right. So I'm just gonna start by um, using a sledgehammer to Hook that in at the back and the front like that. Okay. Right, so that's the back and the front movement. Now we'll do the sides again. Just some um, wedges of concrete for some old concrete posts that were lying about. And as I said, you can just use some rocks to do the same job. This is just what I've got lying about. And again, that won't move now. Okay. Let's do a final check. Job to good. And uh I'll show you uh, next time when we get to the end of the fence line, we actually do something different with the last uh, fence post. We'll, we'll brace it 
to stop it from having any sideways movement. But what you've got to remember is a properly strained fence, uh, the strain will be about 50-50 either way anyway. So this is perfectly adequate. As I say, if you've got really loose soft soil, um, you're probably not going to use an auger in this way. You're better off just digging it out with a spade the old-fashioned way. Um, I'd be here all day doing that here. Um, just the way the sand is. But if you've got like soft, loose, looser soil, dig it out with a spade and then maybe consider putting a bit of concrete in there. Personally, I don't want concrete in my land anyway, even though, to be fair, my expectation is this will still be standing here long after, long after I've gone, but still, it's uh, best not to be putting concrete in your soil if you can avoid it. Anyway, guys, so that was just to show you how we can uh, wedge a fence post if the sand isn't quite enough to support it. Later on, I'll probably put a, maybe in the evening, it's a bit cooler, I'll put a bucket of water down there and let that soak in overnight. And uh, I can assure you, <laughs> this will not move. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please remember to subscribe, like, and share. And you can turn on the notification button. You'll never miss an episode from the Portuguese. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Ciao.